So this is where you're gonna have me whoa. here in the office? Whoa, 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 that's, that's my office. We're, we're taking you right to the back. Surprise, surprise. Look at that, it's in pieces. You see this sweet paint finish? Oh, that's, um, I think that's sandpaper. I seen Mercedes symbols and intercoolers. Feet. Those are chicken feet. Chicken feet. Those come on Humvees, right? No. Hopefully I can work on this inside where it's air conditioned and not out here in the sun. You're gonna have to push it. Oh. Uh... Spicy, right? It's been a while since we've been out here, Andy. Let's just take a look and uh, see what we've got to work on. So this needs a full suspension rebuild. The aromatic systems failed. This one, you can see, of course, the ABC is sitting down on its rear end. That needs its intake replaced, as all M156s do. I don't remember what this one's here for. What, uh, what's up this with one that here one? This one here has got to get it in the shop sometime. We get a minute. It uh, needs basic service. It's got some battery warning issues. Uh, just needs a good look over and see what he does need. Pretty solid for a 156 SL. We've got a Porsche that uh, does Volkswagen things. This is getting an engine out and all the stuff, so that'll be a, a total week gone. And um, that one needs an engine, right? This one's gonna end up needing an engine. Uh, we gotta get it in the shop again and uh, do some diagnosis on it, make sure of it. But we, we could really use some help. I think we need another tech, get these things in the shop and get things moving. Yeah, I don't think we have enough people for this. I think it's, I think it's time that we hire on someone new. I think it's time to make that step. Let's do it. It's a beard of knowledge. You guys need yeah. some help? Yeah. All the way down here in Georgia. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a little hot and humid. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. sorry about that, but uh, maybe you can get hazard pay? Possibly. Winter's just a few months away. It'll cool off nice. It'll feel just like home. Looks like you got quite the lineup here. Yeah, we, um, we've got some diversity here. Of course, uh, Mercedes and exotics is kind of our catch line and uh, we got plenty of them. You feel like getting your hands dirty? I'll have to change clothes first, but yeah, sure. I brought my wizard uniform along just in case. Oh, good, good. So uh, it's orientation day, so why don't we take you in the shop and show you where we're gonna be working? I definitely would like to know that, so let's go take a look. You don't wanna work outside, right? No, I don't, especially out here, no. Yeah, let's go get some air conditioning. We'll, we'll, we'll get you started. All right. We can get you a name tag. And... Yes, please. So this is where you're gonna have me whoa. here in the office? Whoa, 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 that's, that's my office. We're, we're taking you right to the back. You got I work bet. to do. I got yeah. work, okay. Yeah, let's well, do it. Let's get to it. We got lots lined up for you. You saw that parking lot, right? Yes. It's YouTube Fest. YouTube Fest, it looks like it. Yeah, we, we really need your expertise on uh, how to work on uh, YouTube cars you know, as we uh, get more and more of them and uh, help me out. Help me, wizard, help me. It definitely is a lot different from the way you would deal with a normal everyday customer. It's not how you would deal with a YouTube customer, but it can be a boon for your business as well, so. We like booms, big boom. You could, a boon. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you got two Mercies and a Diablo there. Yeah, we, we, we like Lamborghinis. They're, um, it's another car, right? It's nuts and bolts. And Ford GT. Yeah, that's, um, like I said, it's very, very diverse here. Uh, what, what you want to get your hands dirty on? Um, I'd like to start on that SL back there, actually. Yeah, that one's in a, in a lot of pieces. We'd love to get that yeah, one. Yeah, we, we'd love to do that one. That's, that's right. my... I can prove my worth on it. Yeah, that's, that's on the boss's car, so... Oh. You gotta, you gotta really try hard on that one. Let's show you what you're, uh, what you're working with. So this is my $260,000 SL600. $260,000? Yeah, it was, uh... $132,000 new, which adjusted for inflation is $260,000. Inflation is definitely a thing in the shop. It is. You remember when a car battery used to be 50 bucks and now they're 180? At least. But uh, you can see my inflated parts are everywhere. We've got a table of parts over there. We've got parts on top of the engine here. Mm. And uh, under my box of surprises here is the extra surprise. Surprise, surprise. Look at that, it's in pieces. It definitely is. I really have gotten myself into a pickle, haven't I? Maybe. Maybe. I didn't label anything oh. either. I've got a couple muffin tins that are full of bolts. We'll let you get to work. I can do it, but probably not as fast as it should be because I'm going to figure out what was done, what happened. This one I'll have to probably do a little bit and then move around to other ones. But man, there's a lot to do here. What happened to this engine? So this has 183,000 miles on it from two owners. It all started with an alternator. An alternator. And this is where we ended up. This is V12 life. V12 life, yes. To do an alternator, you need to tear apart the motor. But not really, it was uh, all the oil leaks decided to short the alternator. With my nice new shiny alternator on there, I don't want to uh, do that again. So this is where we are. Well, 
I guess I better get my tools in here and get started. I'll have to poof them here. That'll take a lot of energy. Oh, then you won't be able to work. I might be tired for a day or two, but give me a break. I'll, I'll get it going. A break? You just got here. Well, maybe we'll start you off with something a little easier. Maybe, that'd be great. What else you got? We've got this thing, but um, it's, it's a car. Yeah. And uh, we've got the sweet E55. You wanna pull the dash out of it? Sure. It also needs a transmission. And a transmission. And a radiator. And a radiator. That you can't get. I'm saying you can't get. Can you just poof one for us? I'm sure there's one somewhere. Somewhere there's a radiator. It's a used one. It's sitting somewhere that you can Used? Well, what else do you This is high you quality. Have? You see this sweet paint finish? Oh, that's, um, I think that's sandpaper. So maybe the used radiator will go along just fine then. Yeah, that seems to be the theme of this one. Yeah. Well, I can definitely get this one all fixed up for you, but the real thing that's caught my eye since I've been here, even with all these Lamborghinis in here, is the little 123 over there. The 123? Yes. That's Dottie. Dottie? Yeah. It has a name? She has a name. Does it need work? No. No? No, oh, that one's, that's as nice as they get. It looks very nice. You wanna check it out? Yes, please. It's one owner for 40 years. He bought it brand new here in Georgia. It's been here all its life in Georgia. Yep. Wow. I've even got the original window sticker. I used to have one, a blue one. Really? China blue? It was a medium blue. Oh. That's, yeah. That is, they were very simple with their colors back yeah. then. It was medium red, medium blue. We even have a dog tag for this one. A dog tag? You ever tag. seen a Mercedes dog tag? So you're a military man, right? Mm -hmm. I've got a, a dog tag for you. It comes with Dottie. It even has a person. This is the original owner, huh? Yeah. Wow. 1983. So there's a lot of work to be done in here. Instead of cash, maybe you could give me this instead. This will be my payment for getting these cars running. All of them? No, just those two. Just two? Yeah. I don't know about that. You don't know about that, huh? Okay. You're expensive. Well, I'm a car wizard. Oh. <laughs> you get what you pay for, right? True, but the one thing that when we uh, drove up, I saw outside there was a Humvee. What's the story on that? Let's go see. All right. After you, new employee. Yes, yes, I got much work to do. Yeah, we've got this sweet Humvee. You've worked on these before, right? Oh, hundreds of them. Yeah, what, 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 what makes them uh, easy or special? Well, they can go about anywhere, but the diesels are very slow, very slow engines. I don't think I could ever get one over 50 or 55 miles an hour, ever. Oh, I, th I think this one's gonna be a little different for you. What's different about it? Um, there's something in that doghouse area that's uh, a little more befitting to what we do here at DC Motor. Works. Those gauges definitely don't fit what I remember anyway. What, what's going on with this thing? Let's go take a look. See anything like this? No, there was definitely not that many wires on the Humvees that I worked on. It looks like a, something blew up here. Yeah, it's a bit of a uh, wiring tornado here, but does this look familiar to you? No, I seen Mercedes symbols and intercoolers. Feet. Those are chicken feet. Chicken feet. Those come on Humvees, right? No. What's going on here? This is a twin turbo Mercedes-Benz V12. Wow. Is it uh, drivable? No. Where did the steering wheel come out of? Like one of those little driving simulators or something? Yeah, I think this is like a PlayStation Logitech steering wheel. <laughs> I'm pretty <laughs> sure. We have bucket wire. seats though. Yeah, definitely. Did you have these back in your military days? Well, we had these here with the little thin cushions or whatever. This thing's gonna have plenty of power when it's done. Yeah, it should be about 600 horsepower and over 700 pound-feet of torque. What would that be like compared to a 6.2? Oh, it'll be like triple, quadruple the power. It'll feel like it. It looks like the shifter, the original shifter's gone. What is that? Oh, that's the shifter for a different transmission, isn't it? Yeah, that's the original Mercedes-Benz shifter for the uh, five-speed 722.6 transmission. Wow. See, that should look very familiar to you. See, you have a uh, remote throttle pedal. Mm -hmm. So um, you have a hand throttle control. Yeah, you get to put this together. It looks half done already, so... It should be a quick project, right? Maybe a, a year or more. You said you've worked on hundreds of these. Not like this. Oh, this is the, the instrument panel with the key and switches and... Is that the nitrous there? Yeah, something like that. Um, sure. You want to hear it? Sure. Spicy, right? See, you're already there. You know, it runs. It does. It's 90% of the problem, right? Man, I've got my work cut out for me. Yeah, we got, we got lots of work for you, so we're, we're really glad you came down to, to help us out here. <laughs> Hopefully I can work on this inside where it's air conditioned and not out here in the sun. You're going to have to push it. 
Uh, can we negotiate a pay raise already? Already? <laughs> we gave you hazard pay. Oh man, I don't know. This is a hazard. This is pretty cool though. All, all jokes aside, I think this is really neat. It is. Next is going to be a Hellcat Humvee. A Hellcat Humvee? You yeah. have another Humvee coming in, you're going to do a Hellcat swap, huh? Well, the guy is one of our clients. He built it. So uh, when he gets stuck, it comes here. Okay. So that, that's where this one's at. All right. I'm ready to go back inside already. I guess this one's gonna have to sit. Okay. We'll put you back on the boss's car. All right. Wizard, wizard. How do you do this again? It's three times. Wizard. wizard. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna get used to that. You're not? No, it, it still spooks me. What do you think I am, Beetlejuice? You just call three times and I appear? Yeah. It worked? I guess it did, but. Well, that's a. Uh... I think that's what we're here to, to talk about today, Wizard. I don't, I don't think this is working out. Not working out? Why not? Uh, you complain a lot. Well, there's a lot here to complain about. You asked for a raise already. Yes. First day. Yeah. And then you wanted to pick what you wanted to work on. Right. It's not going to work around here. I don't get it. I don't see what's the problem. See, I, that's, I don't think we're, we're seeing uh, Wizard to Wizard here. So I think uh, we're, we're going to have to let you go. That's it, huh? Terminate me. Yeah, but uh, we'll cover your transportation fees. How about that? There is none. I poof myself here and I can poof myself back to my shop. I have plenty to do there. I can make a lot of money there. Uh, I think that's the route we're going to have to take, Wizard. Well, good luck finding somebody that can do these jobs for you. I guess I'll be on my way. Thanks for nothing. Don't cough on any wizard dust on your way out. <laughs>